Hi, okay, we're live and it's day four of Baby Steps to Drawing Success. I hope you just watched the video. So we are moving along here with reframing things in your mind, helping your belief system to think about drawing as pulling, as to think about thinking about what you see as simple lines, simple shapes, very, very simple things. And we'll talk a little bit more about shapes tomorrow. But for now, it's really still seeing the two-dimensional aspect of things with our, our good thinking mind, knowing that everything is three dimensions. And, and this is something, again, when we, we think about babies and their new eyes, and um, babies want to reach for things, but they don't really know how far away things are. That's part of their discovery process. And they love to put things in their mouth. And it's part of their discovery process because they see it. They don't, you know, that they, they learn how far away distances are because they're not, they don't know about 3D so much yet because they've got these new eyes. And it's just amazing, you know, when you, you, see how they are relating to the visual world and we need to get a little more innocent in what we believe we know what we think we know and what we do know in a three-dimensional sense but as we move into drawing we have to see everything has two dimensions so i hope that makes sense um you know it's kind of fun to think about how new new babies i mean how they you can perceive that their their concept of the world is so different and if we can pull ourselves back into some of that innocence it makes drawing a whole lot easier so let's see if there's anything else to say about monet's quote well monet's quote is very very important because if you start just drawing horizontal lines and vertical lines and triangles and ovals and circles and things like that. And as you build the pieces of that, and we'll do some more of that tomorrow, as you build those pieces, all of a sudden things appear. But you've got to stop thinking about the name of the thing, you know, this, this thing that we don't know what it is. If we keep reminding ourselves that we don't know what these things are that we're looking at and we say okay where are the horizontal lines it's always great to start with horizontal and vertical lines where are those horizontal and vertical lines and like i was uh kind of talking about yesterday is you program you program your mind to ask your eyes what your eyes see and that's what your eyes will see and you will focus on that It'll be easy because you're going like, oh, where are the vertical lines? Oh, I see, you know, and you'd start looking around and you just see vertical lines everywhere. Switch gears, say, I, now I want to see the horizontal lines. And you go, wow, that's all I see, horizontal lines. It's amazing. So we're, we're changing our belief system. We're reprogramming our mind to trust our eyes. Um, we're focusing on what are the simplest things and we're remembering that that's where we have to start every drawing is on the simplest simplest things so so there's that and let's see what else did I want to say about that well uh, definitely choosing simple objects helps because the more complex the object the more we get kind of caught up in the complexity, shall we say, does that make sense? Whereas if we start with simple things and simple, that to have simple shapes, simple lines to them, it's much easier for us to detach from what the thing is and what, it, what all of its components are. But even complex things have horizontals and verticals and very, very simple lines to them. So, this is this is just part of your your evolution in what you see 
and how you perceive things. So um, let me see if there was anything else to do. Practice seeing and uh, remembering that you have a two-dimensional surface. And just a, a little, little quick reminder that, you know, this object I've got sitting here, you know, vertical lines, whoop, bump myself, horizontal lines, an oval. And then if you're seeing it a little bit differently, maybe you see this shape. So you just start seeing the super, super simple. And then you can, as you develop, you'll be able to add more details. But if you always start with simple, always, I don't care how grand the landscape or how complex the object, when we start with the simple, all those other pieces fall into place. We got to start with the big and work to the small, the simple down to the complex. All right, I said enough about that. Um, so I do hope you will do some drawing and find some more simple objects and re and keep thinking about that simplicity and, um, and Monet's quote. And we will see you tomorrow on the next video and live. So until then, all right, bye for now.